Hey, what's going on, everyone? Jonathan Perez here from Surefire Web Services and the coming soon BeaverBuilderVideos.com. Um, earlier today, um, someone from the Beaver Builder group posted a question and asked how to do a read more toggle. Um, so I just wanted to show you how to do something really simple and really quick without installing a plugin. And um, that's pretty much it. So let's just get started. Uh, the first thing I'll do, and I'll put this in the actual notes, is um, go to this website. This is my website. And I basically have the code set up for you right here. Now, there are a few things that we will have to change. But as I paste the code in, I'll show you exactly what to, what to do. So I'm going to click on Page Builder. Let's edit this page. And I'm going to go to Tools, Layout Settings, and click on JavaScript. And Beaver Builder actually upgraded, updated um, the software, and you can actually save CSS and JavaScript per page, which is pretty freaking awesome. I'm also going to go into back to the page and copy the document ready function because I want it only to load when the page is ready. That's basically what that does. So I'll pop that in. Space this out so it looks nice and neat. And there we go. Now, one last thing that we want to do is this uh, dollar sign, which is pretty standard in jQuery, actually conflicts with about a million other different JavaScript libraries. So in order for it not to conflict, you have to replace the dollar sign with the actual word jQuery. And that'll get rid of all of your conflicts. Um, this P is pretty generic, so let's come up with a class and we'll call it toggle script just for, just to make it easy. I'm going to get rid of this next because we don't need it. Right now I'm showing you this in the most basic and simplest form. So once the toggle script class is clicked, that's what this is saying, we're going to target the ID of, um, we'll call it toggle show more and then that toggle is going to slide up and down that's what blind is all right so let's save this now what I'll do is I'll just add a button we can add it right there we'll call the button with the class that we made which was uh, my memory is horrible toggle more Save that. Oops. Let's see. We gotta go in. It's right here. Save that. Let's go into. Uh, sorry. Tools again. Just to confirm. It's okay. Toggle script and toggle show more. So advanced. Change the class to toggle script. Save it. And then we're going to add another content block, and we're going to call that toggle show more. And we're going to put that under the ID show more. We're also going to add a class of hidden because this is the text that's actually going to hide. And when we click on the button, it's going to show. So let me actually add some text, and I'll just put this is gibberish text that will hide and then show once we're done. So I'm going to save that. And now let's go back into tools. I'm going to go into the layout settings. I'm just going to add a quick class of hidden. If it's not in your theme already, you can just add it directly to the page. And this will display none. So now you see that just disappeared. And then in this, what we're actually going to do, you're going to put a little E right there. Oops, sorry, not there. Under the click function, you're going to put a little E right here. And then we're going to go E dot prevent default. And basically what that does is when you click a link or a button um, and you have to put the, the pound sign in it, it usually goes to the top of the page. This basically just tells the default behavior to not do that. So 
let's change this back to jQuery and let's save it. Now we're going to publish this, publish changes. Oops. And click here and see if it works. And there you go. Now you have some gibberish text. Click the button, it shows, and it hides. And that's it. That's basically how you do a show hide uh, jQuery toggle. There's a million different ways you could do this. Um, if you have any questions or if you want to see any other ways, just feel free to leave a comment or shoot me a message on Facebook, tweet me, whatever you want, you can get in touch with me. All right. Thank you very much, Jonathan Perez, ShowfireWebServices.com, and be sure to check out BeaverBuilderVideos.com, launching uh, March 1st. Bye-bye.